I want to show you guys something cool. So we haven't got, oh, did you guys, did anybody ever notice that the reds don't match? <laughs> did anybody ever, I just noticed the reds don't match. That's the weirdest thing. Did you guys know that? Anyways, after we do the front adjustable upper control arms, we got to get this guy aligned. But as of right now, watch this. Oh, the other side was worse. Oh no, here's some. This is what, this is like maybe one of the better ways to like widen your car. Cause oh, there's another chunk. There's a little more. This is literally just for my drive here. The other side was way worse cause there's more turns that way. I got here and I give Emerson a handful of just plastic. Check this stuff out. That's nasty. And I was thinking like while I was driving, I can hear it annihilating the fenders and I'm like, oh, that sucks. But then I was thinking, we did this cheap, but it's kind of working better because yeah, we're rubbing, but it's not destroying fenders or wheels. It's literally just melting a little bit of plastic off the inside. So people that like slam their cars and they think they're all cool with their stanced wheels and they annihilate their cars just like because they either rub fenders on wheels and they crack their fenders or they dent their fenders or they just shred their wheels. But this is like the coolest thing because it's literally just tearing up pieces of plastic and then that's it. Once the plastic kind of like burns away, the wheel fits better and we're done. Are you washing your hands in a fake sink? Look at this kid. What are you doing? Today we are back working on the Civic for everybody that has been complaining and crying and searching all over the world for this thing. It's here, it's alive, but we haven't drove it at all because we need to do the front upper control arms and we haven't had a day blocked off to do that yet. So without the control arms, we can't get it aligned and without an alignment, I really can't drive it because if you look at the back tire, the toe out on that thing, like it's basically dragging sideways. Back tire is like this and the other one's probably like this too. So the car's just like whoop down the road and it's not good. So today we're gonna be installing the adjustable front control arms on the car, which is probably gonna suck because we had to torch, well, Emerson had to torch the back ones out. So we're probably gonna have to put in a lot of work to get these stupid things out. So in case you guys missed the video that Emerson did where he installed the rear, lower, and upper control arms, he got a bunch of these from work for free. So some guy basically bought a bunch of parts for his Civic and then decided not to build it, but he already bought the parts and ordered them to the store, but then he just never picked them up. They're brand new. Like still wrapped and so are the rear ones and everything so we got the rear lower control arms the rear upper control arms and now we have front adjustable upper control arms which will help us adjust some of the camber and all the other adjustments and these were free this is what we're doing today and it's probably gonna suck update just in from nasa one of you guys apparently commented that these are for an ek civic on one of the videos where we showed them i'm gonna be pissed if we get halfway through this and these don't fit but i'm gonna have to show it to you guys because i don't have any more videos for you guys this week this is it I really hope i i really hope this works Judging by my expert knowledge, I would say that looks pretty much the same as what we have. If everything you had worked in the back, it should work in the front, right? I think they look the same, pretty much. We'll try it, and worst case, we just destroy everything like we usually do, and then we keep going. Might have to take off the coil. We're gonna start with just one side because we don't want the classic, we rip all four wheels off, or in this case, just two wheels off, and then it, they don't fit. So we're gonna start with one side, that way if we destroy things, we destroy them to a minimal. For all you guys that have been around since like the beginning of this Civic, this is still leaking oil. Not horribly, like that's all it's done since I cleaned it like the day we got it. So it's not that bad, but it's still leaking. Ah, oh, it's okay. There we go. We also told you when we put these in that we ran this little top hat that came with it. Most people don't, but we just threw it in there just for safety. Like just why not kind of thing. And it's been working fine. There's been no issues. It just kind of holds the coil a little bit more in place than if it was just loose in this original top hat. So just an update, it's working. Whoa, that's how it comes out. This looks identical. This looks like it's the exact same thing. So after I just told you they look the same, we came to the conclusion that this piece does not fit in this one. Cause if you look, this has like an opening for you to take this, you know, top, whatever bracket off and drop it into this one. But this one doesn't have that opening. It mounts sideways. So this might actually, whoever said it was for an EK is probably right. Cause it mounts differently to an EK than this one. You can't mount this piece in here. To give you like a visual, that's, this piece would need to go right here. So it's just, that's just not, you know, not gonna work. On the plus side though, we don't need these. Like we didn't need to have these in the car. It would have just helped when we were trying to get it aligned and trying to get everything figured out. But 
these were still working. These are still perfectly fine. So we're just gonna throw this one back in. If we needed these on the car, it would probably be a little bit different. I'd be a little bit more upset. But I'm not too upset about it, because like I said, it was just, just for fun, because we had them. Now what do we do for this video? Because it's only gonna be like five minutes long. In one second, I have a very important question, but I wanted to, like I'm posting this video anyways, and we posted like a fail videos before, but there was a couple of people that messaged me like this week specifically that were like, every time I work on my car it goes wrong, like nothing ever goes right kind of thing. Like they were all discouraged from working on their cars. But like this is real life. Like just cause we don't put this stuff on, on all the videos doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Like there's plenty of times me and Emerson have come to the shop, started a project, gone, oh shit, this doesn't work. And just that's it, we just don't post it because you guys don't wanna see us not doing stuff, you wanna see us getting somewhere. So there's a lot of times that we just like halt projects or we try something that doesn't work or we break a bunch of shit and we just don't really put it in the videos because it's not necessary or whatever, but it's real life and it happens. But since you're here and you're already watching this, when I did the first color vote for the Civic, I had like almost 30,000 subscribers I wanna say and it was like, the first color was gray because I said I wanted to do like a primer, kind of glossy gray. The number one color that you guys voted was gray. The second was blue and then I think yellow was after that. But gray was like way higher than anything else and then blue was down here and then yellow was right behind it. But now there's like double my audience. So to be fair to you guys, to be fair to everybody that's new and everybody that's back, I want to do a re-vote and I want to let you guys vote for the color again because now it's actually going to happen sooner. Um, when we first voted it was just kind of like an idea. So the color is coming soon. So I want you guys to go down, comment right now down below. Don't comment specific colors because I don't care. If you say like this kind of gray or that kind of gray, it's going in the gray category. So pick a color, comment down below. Last time gray won, I still want to do gray. So, you know, if you want to vote for gray, that won't hurt me. A light kind of like this, but like glossy kind of gray. And we don't know if we're going to wrap it or do like some kind of spray bomb. We haven't decided yet, but go comment down below your color. Don't get too specific because it doesn't matter. And then I'll give it a week or maybe two weeks and I'll tally up all the votes and we'll see where we're at. Also, if you can, if you can find a place to get cheap wrap, that'll cover the car. Let me know because you guys say you want Wish wrap, but Wish, if you look, only sells wrap that's like tiny. You can't get like a real sheet of wrap. It's impossible to get a real sheet of wrap on Wish. So like we would have to like literally wrap half the hood and then have a line down the middle and the other half with a second sheet of wrap and I'm not doing that. So if you guys know where you can get cheap wrap or whatever, comment and I'll try and find it. Right now, I'm gonna go rip over and pick up some new locks for the new garage that we got. You guys haven't seen it yet, I haven't told you about it. It's nothing special, it's not like a shop like where we were today, but it's mine. It's my own space where... Is he behind me doing stupid shit? He's just dabbing, can you see him? <laughs> You're such a loser! Okay, I'll see you in like half an hour. It's mine, it's my own shop. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. And that's what I need because my, like I said, my work is declining. My YouTube is going up, which is amazing, but I need somewhere to be able to do this because this shop's not ours and I can't just come here whenever I want. So I'm stoked. You guys will see that next week. Everything should be ready to go for next week. It's just a, it's just a garage. It's just a small garage, but it's mine and I've never owned a garage in my life. So I'm stoked. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys vote. Some solid color choices, nothing stupid. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Peace out and stay committed.